Hi guys, welcome back to The Property King. For today's episode, we're going to discuss what a real estate or property bubble is, what causes it, and how does it affect the real estate industry, especially when it comes to your investments. What is a real estate bubble or what we call property bubble? In some cases, it's also known as the housing bubble. So it happens when house prices or property prices tend to go up at a very rapid pace, you know, very fast pace. That's either driven by demand, a very low amount of supply, or at the same time, it can be, you know, driven by speculative or emotional buying. Once these speculators, these speculative investors start to come in because they want to, you know, ride the wave of the fast pace of increase in terms of property prices, they will further drive the demand up, which will also further drive property prices up. Now, it's called a bubble because at some point, it will burst. Hence the term, the real estate bubble. So what causes this property bubble to occur in the first place? I would say it's a combination of two things. Number one, it's a lack of regulation and a very bad lending practice by the banks. Okay, So if the banks just allow, you know, people who aren't qualified to to pay for the loans or the mortgage consistently to a very long period of time, a long-term commitment, then they may have problems in the future because when these when a lot of these uh, homeowners, property owners default on their loans, then they will be stuck with properties that they might be unable to sell or liquidate very quickly, especially when the market starts to to crash, right? So that will add to the to the continuous decrease in property prices or the plunge when it happens because um, there will be a lot of supply, a lot of people, including the banks, that would be scrambling to sell their properties at a, at a very huge discount. And when governments allow these things to happen by you know, not regulating the exposure, the risk of the said banks, then it's a formula for disaster. Okay, It's a formula for the bubble to burst eventually. Another factor that could cause these bubbles is speculative investing or speculative purchasing by investors who are after a very huge and fast capital appreciation. And this is primarily driven by greed, not just by foreign investors, but also local investors as well. So if you're into flipping and you're, the only reason why you're investing in property is to, to flip it, let's say in, a, in six months' time, in one year time, hoping that the you know, properties will continue to rise at a very fast pace. And if everyone thinks like that, and no one's really buying to, you know, the, or there's a, a little amount of people who's looking to buy, you know, to live in that property, or there's not enough people who's willing to rent those properties, then you will end up with, you know, a bubble eventually because it's not sustainable because the demand is actually artificial. It's not what we call a real demand. Now that we've defined what a property bubble is, what causes it, you might be thinking, are we in a property bubble right now? If you want to know more about that, be sure to subscribe to our channel because we'll be discussing it in our future episodes. And if you like the video, if you like the content, if you learned something, please press the like button down below. Don't forget to comment and share it to your friends so that we'll be able to reach more people and educate them about the real estate market. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Again, this is RK from Property King. And let's all grow wealthy together. Goodbye.